Hey YouTube, it's Robin. Finally making my intro video. I've tried this so many doggone times. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Just got my laptop. Has a little camera thing on it. So now I'm just trying to figure out how to get it all together. Um, I hope I'll figure out the editing thing soon. But um, in case not, I will try not to make too many flubs with this video. Hold on. Can you hear that? I love this song. I absolutely love it. I blare it all the time. My kids are like, again? I'm like, yes, leave me alone. Go, lock the door. So anyway, um, I'm gonna be a, a nursing student, 2011. Wait, 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 let me let me rephrase. I'm in the nursing pool at my school. I'm going for an ADN, RN program. Um, it's gonna take me three years. I have a year of prerequisites. And then if I get accepted into my clinical, or get a clinical seat, um, that would start spring of 2013. So um, this year, next year and summer semester, we'll be um, just getting those prereqs out of the way. Which, you know what, it's fine. I am 41 years old. I haven't been on the learning end of a classroom in a very long time. So um, even though I took my, excuse me, even though I took my pretests, I was able to start in, in a math where I needed to start, which is clinical math, math 119. I tested out of the reading, so I don't have to take reading. Um, I tested into honors composition, English, but I don't need honors English, so I'm just um, taking regular English. And then um, my nursing instructor also put me in sociology. The reason I'm taking algebra is because I need chemistry. I haven't had chemistry in the last five years, and apparently, um, at my school anyway, if you haven't had chemistry in the last five years, you need to take it again. And I know my algebra needs um, definite um, brushing up on. So you know what? It's all good. If that means I'm going to get a better grade in chemistry, then that's fine. I will take that algebra because I, my school goes on point system for the clinical seats. If you get an A, you get four points, a B is three points, C is two points, etc. So they take your um, grades from math anatomy and physiology you can get up to four points for each of those so I have to get A's I have to get A's um, then they look at English the most I can get is a point and reading the most I can get is a point which I already have because I was exempt from reading because I already passed it through my pretest and then they I have to take in the NLN test um, and then they I think I can have up to four points on that too so anyway maximum points I can earn are 16 16 maximum points with all that put together to um, apply for my clinical seat. They'll take all the 16s first, and then the 15s, and then the 14s. And I asked the question, well, how many people do you guys let into the clinical program each each um, semester or whatever? And they didn't give me an answer. They said it depends. I don't know if that depends on recycling maybe from the class prior to ours, or if that just depends. I, I don't know what that depends on. So all I know is I have to really crack down there's no messing around I have to be studious with my work my homework which my kids are gonna love because I'm gonna be like I'm not feeling like doing this and they're gonna but mom you gotta do your homework yeah. okay no I will in fact I was teasing them I'm like we can do homework together and they're like cool <laughs> so anyway um, this is kind of cool though because my oldest Rachel she's 17 she's gonna be a senior this coming year and I think it's going to be really good for her to see what I'm bringing home, even though I'm a freshman. Um, you know, she'll be seeing the workload, my study time that I'm going to have to put in. I'm not sure what that is yet, but she's going to see that. She's going to see projects that they're being assigned. And a lot of these are math, science, the things that she's sociology, more than likely things she's going to have to take. So I think this is pretty cool. Um, she doesn't want to stay here in this state. She wants to go off um, she has a math science brain and she wants to do like hold on Mama? yes okay, about, can I talk to you? Sure. about what I have a okay um Friday it can me and Chris hang out we'll see because um I can because we his parents <laughs> his parents can um pick him up here I was wondering if we could pick him up at his house and bring him back here, but I can pay you gas money because so I get paid Friday. So. You get paid Friday. Okay, so he wants to hang out here. Yeah. Okay. 
Because it's kind of empty. More than likely, but it's going to have to be an early evening because you have a travel ball tournament Saturday, early. We have to leave. Okay? So, when his mom and I talk about times, I don't want any argument, eye rolling, anything like that. Cool? Well, I know, but they're going to a retirement party, so I don't know what time they're going to be picking them up. It's not going to be late. It's funny because they're, <laughs> they're making a PowerPoint and they're putting pictures on it, making fun of him. <laughs> Making fun of who? The guy that's retiring. Okay, go. Yeah. All right, love you. Thank you. I have to run this by your father first, but. Well, I'm paying you gas money. Shelby, I have to run this by your father first. I know, but I'm just saying that he shouldn't have a problem with it, right? Bye. She's 15. 15. Sorry about that. I don't want to have to start this video all over again, and if I figure out the edit thing, I promise I'll leave that out. If not, that was Shelby. <laughs> New boyfriend. Anyway, um, I lost my train of thought. But um, I think I was talking about Rachel and um, starting high school and everything. And I really wish I could have done things the right way in the, in the beginning. You know, school was very hard for me in high school. All grown up, I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, it's because I didn't really know how to learn and back in the 80s um, it it wasn't at least where I was from or I don't remember it wasn't really approached are you an auditory learner are you a visual learner are you a kinesthetic learner meaning having to do it yourself with your own hands saying okay I heard you I watched you now let me do it on my own that I, I have to do that I have to watch you do it or watch someone or see something uh, a picture or something and then I'll do it and I'm rocking and rolling with that so all these lectures and things I'm a little nervous about but I have my little audio recorder so hopefully if the professors don't mind then um, I'll be using that and referring back to that writing my notes out from that because I want to actually be able to focus on what they're saying so as it's recording I'm hoping to focus right down key things along with whatever they hand out I'm sure that there's gonna be handouts along with that and Hi, Carlton. Hi, Why'd you let the dogs in? What do you need? Your phone. My phone. It's almost dead because you've been playing Angry Birds or whatever it is that you play. Can you take the dogs out, please? Doggies, come on. Out. Morning, Jenna, out. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Can you lock my door? Sure. Thank you. That was Carlton, the 13 year old. Oh my goodness. So yeah, study time, I'm gonna have to um, go somewhere else because as you can see, just within uh, <laughs> three minutes, I'm not gonna get anything done. Now I wait for Rachel to pop in, but I think he locked the door. Again, lost my train of thought. Anyway, I'm hoping to meet some people. I've been on YouTube for about a year now. I like to watch the beauty gurus and um, I love the hair, the makeup. You know, I'm a girl. What? I like to look good for my guy. I try to anyway. My husband. We've been married almost 20 years. It'll be 20 years in November. Um, like I said, Air Force couple. We were both in the military. We met in uh, Louisiana. Uh, when kids started coming along, I got out because I didn't want to have to leave them and deploy. And I, I just couldn't. I mean, women do it every day and power to you. Oh, my Lord. Thank you for what you do for our country. Men and women, everybody in every branch of service. Um, it's truly amazing the sacrifices made seriously and it's even sacrifices you know by the families left home you know and things and um, you know he was deployed a lot so out of those 20 years I'd really love to know how long he was gone total with like temporary duties where he'd have to go for two weeks or a month and a half or three months or whatever and then he had deployments which he was gone for anywhere from three to six months to a year to 14 months 18 months at a time so add those up together yeah so otherwise I was, I was a single parent quite often and it was very hard but you know what you pull you do what you got to do I, I didn't have family around I had some friends but they were in the same boat um, you know you just you do what you got to do you do what you have to do it's what else are you gonna do you raise your family the best you can you choose your battles um, there were certain things I was strict about school absolutely one of them bedtime that was for my sanity <laughs> um, and you know eating right 
keeping them busy in activities. I've, I've seen kids walk around just getting into trouble. Um, no, your honey's in a sport. After school, homework, you know, you're doing something. Dance, band, I don't care what it is. Um, so I had a ballerina, a softball player. Actually, she started out being a gymnast first. And then she uh, found out about softball and just loves it. And she's crazy good at it. And um, I apologize. I think I had an email. And then my son plays baseball. Well, he kind of does everything. Baseball, wrestling, soccer, you name it, he does it. Um, so it's not easy. So, you know, I would like to go back to school and do for me and be able to support better for my family. Um, being the special education para, not having an education. I mean, I got paid. I didn't get paid a whole lot. Um, but it fit my family so beautifully that I was able to take them to all these different things. You know, their sports and their clubs and such. I, I had their hours and their vacations. I had summers with them and it, it was perfect. But like I said, they're older now. Um, we have college tuitions coming up. A mama needs to make some more money. Not necessarily for Rachel. No, they're going to pay for some of their own college. Absolutely. Um, but, you know, we're going to help them out with that. But I, I have to make more, and I want to make more. And nursing is something I've always wanted to do, always wanted to do. And so I'm ready to be that student. I'm, I know it's going to be hard. I'm expecting it to kick my butt. Um, but bring it, because I want it. So, um, I've, I've, uh, the last six months or so, I've watched so many of the nursing, uh, actually, new nurses. I've seen some of them get their NCLEX and, and graduate, and while they're in school, or they just got out of school, or they're just starting prereqs like myself, uh, medical assistants, um, EMTs, you know, nursing, nursing students. Mendoza and Nurse Nicole and H Driver Heather, um, Heather Hart's nursing, Juliana, Chris with no H, Renee for Christ. I love them all. I like I said, I just recently um, come across some others, and um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I want to say your name is Vera. Anyway, I love you, you know, I do. So, we're just starting these journeys together. Some of us, some of them are done, but um, I just kind of hope. I have something to offer you, whether it's um, study tips on how I'm doing something, if something's working for me, maybe a project I've done or something that um, got graded well or didn't. You know, we learn by failing sometimes. Sometimes those are the best lessons, and I'm old enough to know that you're never too old to learn. I can learn things from younger students, older students, professors, and anybody. I, I'm, I know that. So I'm, I'm very ex excited for this um, new part of my life. It's a fresh start, and. Um, I'm ready to uh, get my degree. Uh, I'm I'm the middle of five kids, and I'll be the first one. So, hopefully, inspiring some of my other siblings. I know they're going back to get some certifications and things, and that's absolutely fabulous. But I want to be a role model for my kids as well. Um, would have been nice to have it in the beginning because let me tell you, living paycheck to paycheck is hard. If you are just coming out of high school get your education and get it now because I'm telling you when your kids need this or need that and kids are coming kids are, you know eventually hopefully um, you're ready actually never really quite ready but um, you want to be able to provide for them and do for them and get them what they need and if you can't do that right now go back and get your education absolutely get that piece of paper get that piece of paper get an education get the paycheck you deserve and uh, We'll do it together. We'll do it together. So, um, feel free to email me with things you want to know or something I can answer or cover about whatever. Um, and we'll be talking to you soon. Nursing Student 2011 at Comcast.net. I think that'll be down in my in info bar somewhere. And um, hope to hear from you all soon. Talk to you later. Take care. Bye.